as if I need to introduce our next three guests, but I'll do it because it's polite and it's what you should do on television. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please get an appropriate amount of applause for our three special guests? Ladies and gentlemen, Scotty Pippen, Horace Grant, and Luke Longley, no less. Yeah. So good to, so good to have you here. So at the moment, we are, thanks to you guys, uh, we are the centre of the basketball universe because the most amount of championship rings in one room on the planet right now is this room of ours here tonight. That's a fair thing to say, isn't it, Luke? That's a fair thing to say, mate. Although we're at the Carlton Football Club today, they had 16 in the front room, so that made me feel like we weren't doing enough work. <laughs> I'll start off with the obvious question. Um, all four of us uh, were in the... Uh, documentary or the movie The Last Dance. Uh, myself and Luke got cut out from it. Because um, <laughs> let's be honest, we saw as much of me as we did you. <laughs> I asked him to be my stunt double, but... <laughs> so, uh, firstly, I should explain... <laughs> so, so, the, the sentence is, uh, you know, in Australia, and I think we use the same expression in America when people say arguably, meaning that someone may argue but most won't. Um, but there is no argument. You, you were a part of the best basketball team ever to have been on a court on the planet. Oh, that's Horace, what, do you uh, agree? No, no, no. The first three championships was the best. <laughs> Not that, what, 72 and 10? I'm going to let Luke answer that. Okay. Oh, okay. Go on, Luke. Will you get a vote, first or second? F hands up for the first three, Pete. I didn't like see I one hand. Not one hand. Hands up for the second three, Pete. There you yeah. go. That solves it right there. <laughs> Believe me, I, I tell you this. The X factor in the first three and the second three, I would have kicked Dennis Rodman's ass. <laughs> I'd like to have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> He's not in the room, so you can say what you want. You know that, Horace, yeah? <laughs> that would have been pay-per-view. <laughs> now, I've got to ask, um, we, I'm going to go, if we can rewind the clock with your permission, to go back to the Pistons, Detroit Pistons. The style of game you guys were playing then and watching that style of game versus the style of game now, do you think it will ever be as wild as that on a basketball court anywhere on earth again? I don't think so. Um, I think the game has changed in a good way. Yeah. Uh, I think we played the game wrong, if you ask me. Uh, when I watch today's game, it's more exciting. Uh, it's about shooting. I think anyone who had the opportunity to experience basketball in the 80s, in the 90s, you were very fortunate to watch a very physical game of basketball and the game was played on both ends of the court very hard and it was taken very serious in today's game it's really an offensive game it's more or less for scoring it's for excitement for our fans but I definitely feel that uh, it's a more exciting game than when we play because of the shooting and more scoring. These right. guys may not agree. Lawrence doesn't. Wait, wait, wait. Because wait. they couldn't shoot. <laughs> Listen, because him and Michael wouldn't pass us the ball. That's why we couldn't shoot. Hold on. <laughs> so, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Are, are we smoking up here? Because I, I, I like the 90s. Don't, I mean, we don't take anything away from shooting the threes and, you know, you got the Joker, seven foot tall, shooting the three. You got Wimby now coming down, you know, doing his thing. But you go back to that 90s. You know, we only score 87 points a game, but <laughs> it was physical. Um, we didn't, I mean, we barely let anyone score, but 35 points or 40 points. But that 90s era was very damn good. So, Luke, what was the score at the All-Stars game? What was that score? Come again, mate. The All-Stars game. What was the score just the other day at the All-Stars? Oh, today I think it was 200 to 180 or something, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> hey, Drew, maybe you could argue for the 80s as a good, as a good era. Yeah. Um, and just say, so if you wonder what's going on here, we've got a speed painter over here. Relax, it's not a drug reference. Um, so you're being painted 
by the time we've finished this interview, and this whole thing only goes for about eight or ten minutes, you're going to be painted in that time. Can you believe it? So, uh, Luke, I've got to ask you, the, the game, so, you know, what I was posing was the game was different, it felt more physical, especially against the Pistons in that era. The game that we're playing here in Australia now, NBL, would you, do you think it's, it's, as, it's as hard as that game was played? Well, it's a very different game, as we've talked about. It's certainly different. But what I do know is that this is a, outside of the NBA, we've got the fastest league on the planet. And, um, and that's fun to watch, which is what Scotty's talking about. And I know that there's a couple of teams in this, in this league that are well faster, than, a lot faster than anyone else, anywhere else in the world other than the NBA team. So um, if, you measure, if you're using that as a measure, then, yeah, we're, the, we're, we're a great league in that respect. Yeah, great. Scotty, you... Do you love it here? I'm going to assume you do. This is, uh, and both of you are Horace. You've been here like twice now each, I think. Uh, you know, Australians love people loving Australia. Is it fair enough to say you don't dislike it here? <laughs> uh, I, I love it here. I mean, I've been treated like family here yeah. from the Kesselman family to Luke. Uh, it's been great. And just having an opportunity to be a part of the NBL, uh, be a part of that family and watch this league grow and to grow globally, and especially with our young players who are now coming over here and using this league as a feeder into the NBA draft. So uh, it's exciting for me. Uh, I feel like that I'm one of the trailblazers that sort of help grow the game from a global standpoint. So it's great to see the game growing all over the world. And now you guys are now giving a feeder into the NBA. Well, man, I can't tell you how much we love, uh, you know, having Luke back in Australia. He's, I know he's been back for a long while, but Australia was incredibly proud watching him run around on the, on the Timbers with you guys. And now he's back here, but uh, obviously he's a bit of a conduit, uh, if you will, in bringing you guys over here. So we're, we're thrilled that uh, you guys are here, and I know we've got uh, Luke to thank for that. You are here for a tour, um, which, which is happening, which is called the No Bull Tour. Um, I believe it's kind of being called the No Bull Tour because you guys are are going to be honest about how you feel about things and feel you may be able to be a little bit more honest. We know no bull means no bullshit. Uh, it is going to be a kind of bandages off kind of commentary. Is that fair to say? Horace is... <clears throat> well, as you know me, I speak my mind. Yes, you do. <laughs> and it's going to be a no bullshit tour. <laughs> um, you know... A lot of people really want to ask us questions about that um, that bullshit documentary, but um, <laughs> it started. <laughs> just come out and uh, get the tickets, and uh, you hear a lot. Yeah. Well, uh, this is just a bite-sized snack of, of what you're in for. Uh, we're going to save it because uh, we are going to be in Hobart. We're going to be back here in Melbourne. We're in Sydney, the No Bull Tour. On behalf of not just everyone in this room and everyone around the world watching, uh, just basketball and non-basketball fans because you guys are heroes to all of us here. And we love that man there, but we love the fact you're here with us. So thank you so much for coming down under. And on behalf of everyone here, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Done. And uh, the speed painter. Oh, oh, check this out. Hang on. Sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. There's, uh, there's, that's oh, been painted wow. of you in the time wow. that you were here. Okay. Oh, and our speed painter's got a bull shirt on. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Again, can we get one more round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Great job. Scotty Pippen, Horace Grant, Luke Longley. tickets for the No Bull Tour. If you've watched a broadcast in the last 10 rounds, we've been telling you all about it, but jump online and grab your tickets. Melbourne, Hobart and Sydney, as Shane said, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Back to our awards and 